in the dryer and uh, see if we can't get rid of some of the wrinkles uh, it's the clothing I have here it's the clothing I, clothing I have here uh, the concept behind it is uh, I, it'll be less wrinkled and a little bit more presentable for my interview I'm going to a second interview on a job that the company does uh, sell a lot of cell preps for doing like a uh, micronutrient analysis and then also some gene genetic assays so let's all cross our fingers hope what hopefully I get it. it at least it's a second step in an interview process so I'll talk to you a little bit later after I'm about ready to head head into the interview I'm about ready to go in here for a uh, job interview and uh, wanted you to see how do I look cleaned up guys I hope it works out position like I talked about before it's the same place that had an interest in having me do uh, data analysis so cross my fingers guys hope I get it I just got out of the second interview although I really liked the doctor and everything it was hard to get an idea on what he thought of me what kind of decision he was planning on making uh, it was definitely for data analysis. It was a little bit of a struggle in there just because in my mind there's two things going on, right? There's a, I want a job, right? And then there's also I don't want a job that I'm going to hate, you know? And I, I have a feeling that I know that if I would have went one direction, I may have been able to play and play off how he responded to things and stuff and try to give the answers that he wanted because of the nature of the position. But instead, I made a decision to be honest and truthful. And it sucks not knowing coming out whether that was the right way to go or not. He said he's going to make his decision shortly. I hope I hope I do get it cuz I think I would be very much interested in it. I it it has huge importance in a humanistic aspect of it. Uh because of what you're doing for patients and patient care, it's directly related to that. It's that kind of laboratory testing. And so that would be nice and I and and it would be looking at the difficult examples to give the right answer I did like some of the things that he said personally from his side of the note but at the same rate I don't I won't I won't necessarily know why if I'm not selected you know and that and that can be difficult and troublesome at least I got that far you know who you are out there so uh, and you know we d discussed how you didn't want anything to be said about you know that it was you or whatnot so I want to respect that but thank you because I know you watch these videos and everything if that that opportunity doesn't pan out and uh, this position doesn't I'm definitely gonna look outside of the area probably be heading out of state so for my job search I I really am not anti day labor at this point uh, physically I've gotten to where it's not a huge problem but uh, at the same rate I need to earn more than that pays uh, if I'm gonna ever get an RV really and be able to travel I am kind of excited about having done it and seeing that it's not a big problem for me because it's kind of a security blanket for when you're out on the road you know there's always day labor so that's nice but other than that really I got to find something to make more and it's been a little struggle because uh, my resume is such that a lot of lower level jobs uh, they won't even talk to me 
So there is that. I'll check you guys later. Um, that's the job update. Still doing day labor. And uh, had a couple of recent leads that hopefully go further. And uh, this second interview, um, at least they were interested enough in me to have me come in for a second interview. I'm heading over in here to the Starbucks real quick. I'm going to edit up this uh, footage that I have here from the job interview and everything and load it up, give you guys an update. Uh, I have a couple of things planned for videos over the next day or so, two days or whatever. But what I'd really like to do is have some stuff that uh, you guys would like to see up you know, answer some questions maybe you have, or maybe there's some things I haven't gone over on my opinion of things yet that you would like to hear about. Uh, if you could go ahead and maybe comment on this video of some of those, I'd appreciate it. And then also down below, I'm gonna be linking the Facebook and uh, the Twitter handle again down below. I'd sure love it if you guys would get over there and like like the Facebook page and uh, follow me on Twitter guys. guys connect with people live your big story make sure you're doing something every day to help reduce world suck peace guys